Hi there, this is Rosalind. This is day three of my vlog here at uh, The Gentle Homeschooler. And um, I know this is my third time this week popping in. I did say I was going to pop in that two to three times a week. But today especially, I decided to pop in because I feel like I needed to share something that happened in our day that might be a help to someone else. Sorry, I had to pause there for a second and get a chair to lean on because, yeah, I'm that tired. <laughs> That's just where it's at today. Um, so how did today go? <laughs> um, well, if I look bedraggled, there's a reason for that. Uh, so I barely was able to pull myself out of bed at my usual time. Granted, we did get to bed a little later last night than usual, um, because we had church last night and, um, we live quite a ways away from our church. So that usually means that we get home, um, later, uh, and my kids get to bed later than they normally do. Usually though, that's not a problem. Uh, I generally let them have a few minutes extra sleep, but usually they don't even take it. Usually they're up at their same time. But I think it's probably maybe like, um, you know, inadequate air pressure. That is a thing here. I know it's a thing for some places in the States as well. Uh, where I grew up, I don't ever recall that being a thing. And so it's kind of it's still relatively a new concept to me. But it does definitely affect how you feel. I used to think that was an old wives' tale. It is most certainly not. And so... I was dragging this morning. The kids were dragging this morning. I don't think we ha went through one subject today that didn't involve some sort of a massive conversation, a debate, an argument, me having to prod them along, quit stalling, you know, and all of the usual stalling tactics happened. It was like, you know, redirecting to different types of conversations. I have nothing to do with what the school is, getting up and getting multiple glasses of water at a time, getting up to go to the bathroom five or six times in an hour. I mean, all of the stalling tactics were present. By 1.30, we had only gotten through two subjects, not including Bible. I don't usually include Bible because I consider our school day starts after we've had our Bible class together. That actually went very well. It was after that that everything just sort of rapidly descended downhill. And so by 1.30, when I looked at the clock and I saw what we had left to do for school today, how things were going, you could just sort of project how long the school day was going to take. It was going to take longer than an average adult's work day. I was like, no, I don't have the patience for this. I have zero desire to go through what we've already gone through today. And I don't, you know, my kids really felt like I was blaming them. And I did assure them, you know, it's, I don't think it's anybody's fault. I just think it, you know, you just have days like that. You just do. I'm frustrated. You're frustrated. I'm tired. Y'all are tired. And I had already put on my list of movies that I wanted us to watch we are uh, in world history right about the 1600s, between the 16 and 1700s. And it's sort of spanning England, Europe, um, you know, uh, uh, explorers to North America, all of that. And I had had on my list of movies to watch this year, The Whipping Boy. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go make lunch. Let's gather around the computer. Let's watch a movie. And so that's what we did. We canceled the rest of school. Uh, I'm not even going to try to make anything up this week. Uh, tomorrow's just going to be our usual slated Friday, which means that we don't do several subjects that we put those aside and we do some fun things like art and some of the easy peasy extras that they have that are fun. Like the thinking, my kids absolutely love that and computer. They love that as well. So those are kind of the things that we're going to be doing tomorrow and we'll just sort of pick up where we left off next week. Um, in my first vlog, I talked about the fact that we've not had a normal school week since we started the school year. I'm sort of thinking that normal is not going to happen. I don't know. It may surprise me. I'm going to just latch onto that. It's not happening. And, um, if it by chance happens, 
then um, I'll be pleasantly surprised. So that is kind of how things went today. I don't know if this is going to be an encouragement to you. I sort of think that days like this are not unique to my household uh, because I feel like if I'm going through it, others are going through it as well, which is precisely why I wanted to do this vlog. Be real open and honest about what's happening in our homeschool uh, because that just might encourage others as well. So if you had a rough day, if you've had those rough days, if you felt guilty for sweeping the rest of the subjects aside and just saying, you know what, this is not what we're doing today. We're going to go do something else. We're going to go do a walk outside. We're just, you know, or even just say, you know what, that's it. We're done with school for today. And there's no guilt in that. There's no, why push through? And this was, this was the thing I, I told myself. Why push through when I know that zero retention is going to be happening today? I mean, my child got a 100% on his math test yesterday and uh, starting off on his new lesson, it was sort of building on what he learned in his last lesson. So the problems that he was working um, were problems that he literally got completely right on his test yesterday and he got zero of them right today. Um, <clears throat> it just, it wasn't happening. So why, why try to push through on that? It's frustrating to them. It's frustrating to the mom. It's, um, not productive. And, um, you know, in the end, it just causes a lot of tension in the home. So I didn't see any reason to keep going because we, we weren't going to make any ground. No, no ground was happening, but and you know, what could happen is let's just watch, watch a historic movie and see that, you know, something that actually uh, was a thing back in history. And it was, it was fun. It was, it was slightly educational and um, it just sort of salvaged our day, which for me was the most important thing. So I don't know if this is going to encourage you or not. I just thought I would just throw this out there. I hope that um, y'all are having a little bit of a better day than, than we were. Our day is much better now. So I just want to say that and uh, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.